Chapter 10 Layouting and Publishing the Project In this chapter, we will create layouts and place drawings on them. We will get familiar with master layouts, title blocks, auto text entities, and layout grids, and experience how automated drawing placement can speed up the documentation process. We will work with the project organizer and finally publish a PDF design documentation set of the entire project with the single click of the mouse. Step 1. Creating Layouts In this step, we will create new master layouts. We will also create a smart title block using Autotext items. These are generated in a smart manner and updated automatically. For instance, Layout numbering schemes can be defined and placed as auto text items on the layouts. Close the Favorites palette since we will not need this in this last chapter. Increase the size of the Navigator palette at its right bottom corner. Open the Properties tab page at the bottom of the Navigator palette. Switch to the Layout book in the Navigator and display its content. Layouts are basically the digital representations of sheets of paper onto which drawings are placed. Layouts are updated automatically when the drawing sources are changed. Expand the Masters folder to display the existing master layouts. All layouts in the book are based on a master layout. Let's create a new master layout by clicking the New Master Layout button above the Properties tab page of the Navigator. Enter A2 Portrait for the title of the new master layout and click the Create button to proceed. Click to select the newly created A2 Portrait master layout from the Masters list of the Navigator. Click the Settings button in the Properties tab page to display its settings. Open the Name and Size page of the Master Layout Settings dialog. Click the drop down list in the Size field and select A2 ISO metric from the list. Click the Portrait Radio button to select the portrait orientation. Finally, click OK to accept these changes and proceed. Activate the A08 Interior Elevations Layout by double-clicking on its name in the Layouts folder of the Layout Book. When the layout appears, Right-click it and select Fit in Window from the context menu. Click to select the A2 Landscape Master Layout in the Navigator. Drag and drop this master layout onto the Interior Elevations Layout. Notice that the existing master layout has been replaced by the A2 Landscape Master Layout. Open the A2 Landscape Master Layout from the Master's Container of the Navigator. Select the Fit in Window option from the Context menu. Zoom in to the Title Block area of this Master Layout at its lower right corner. We have a pre-drawn Title Block already in place. Make sure that the Guidelines and Tracker buttons are activated in the Standard Toolbar. Shift-click to select the text block with the text 2008. Right-click and activate the Move Multiply command from the context menu. In the Multiply dialog, turn on the Drag Radio button, set the number of copies to 6, and select the Increment Radio button. Finally, click OK to proceed. Click once and start dragging the cursor vertically down. Wait for the vertical guideline to appear and let the cursor gravitate to it. Type 15 into the distance field of the tracker and press the Enter key. Press the Escape key to deselect the created copies. Select the lowest of the newly created 2008 text block. Drag it downward by an additional 7 millimeters with the help of the guideline and the tracker palette. 
with the lowest text block still selected. Enter 15 for the text size in the info box. Select the text block immediately above it. Enter 8 for the text size in the info box. Deselect the text block once you are done. All text blocks are in correct position, having the appropriate text sizes. Now, we'll modify their content. Select the File, Info, Project Info menu item to open the Project Info dialog. The Project Info dialog contains a predefined set of textual information about the project to be displayed in text block elements as auto text entities. Let's create a new Project Info item by clicking the New button at the top of the dialog. In the appearing new fields, enter Document Type in the Name column field. Enter Design Documentation in the Description column field. Finally, click OK to accept these changes and return to the master layout. Activate the text tool in the toolbox. Shift-click the text block in the Layout ID field to select it. Click the text block to enter the text editor mode and select the text if it's not selected. Click the Insert Auto Text button at the text editor box. In the appearing Insert Auto Text dialog, select Layout in the category list at the top and then select Layout ID from the Auto Text Items list. Auto Text Items are generated in a smart manner and automatically updated. For instance, layout numbering schemes can be defined and placed as Auto Text Items on the layouts and so on. Finally, click the Insert button to proceed. Click elsewhere to finish the text editing and press Escape once to deselect the text block. Select the text block in the Scale field and click to edit it. Click the Insert Auto Text button again. Select Drawing in the Category list and select the Drawing Scale from the Auto Text item list. Click Insert to proceed. Terminate the text editing and deselect the text block. Select the text block in the Revision Number field and click into it to edit it. Type Not Applicable or NA in this field. Finish the text editing and deselect the text block. Continue updating the remaining text block items in the same manner as we did before. Insert the long date auto text item listed under the System category to the Date field of the title block. Insert the layout name auto text item listed under the layout category to the drawing field of the title block. Insert the document type auto text item listed under the project info category to the document type field of the title block. Activate the A8 Interior Elevations Layout by double-clicking its name in the Layouts folder of the Navigator. Select the Fit in Window option from the Context menu. Notice that the content of the title block of this layout has been automatically adjusted to the characteristics of this layout. The Layout ID, Date as well as the Drawing Name fields are automatically filled in thanks to the Auto Text elements. There is no need to type or change anything. Reopen the A2 Landscape Master Layout from the Navigator. Let's place two images to the top of the title block area. Zoom in to the top right area of the layout. 